Let's get straight to business. You want good taste. What, what does it even mean to have good taste? Well, taste is obviously subjective. Or is it? I think that taste can be relative and non-relative. Hopefully, you place some values in your own thoughts and opinions. And in this case, you may regard someone else with similar taste to your own as having good taste. But speaking objectively, I think that you can remove relatability and personal connection as factors as to why you regard a piece of art or something in the same vein as good. It's difficult because I think those are the biggest factors that influence a person's opinion on a work of art for good reason. But I do think that there is such thing as good taste regardless of whether I agree with you or not. Of course there is, because I'm sure you've met someone whose taste you respect, but don't necessarily agree with. So there's no personal connection or relatability there. So how does one acquire objectively good taste? Everybody has lived a different life, which leads to different opinions and tastes and so on. Those life experiences shape us in various ways, but I believe that there is a linear-ish path to acquire good taste. So let's quickly change the question, what is objectively good taste and how does one get it? I think that it requires a general mastery of a subject, combined with a deep understanding of who you are as a person. Just from observing people's fashion sense, you can tell the difference between those that are confident and don't care about what others think and those that appear to be confident but deep down are insecure. Think cool grandpa who cycles around wearing old fisherman clothes with feathers sticking out of his hat and a trailer with multiple dogs attached to the back versus someone who owns uh, 10 different Birkin bags in different colors. Which person do you think is more likely to actually be more sure of themselves? A lot can be said about a person should their taste in a particular medium that they pride themselves in. I'm focusing in singular mediums at a time because I believe that taste levels do not apply across the board. A good taste in fashion does not equate to a good taste in cars, which does not equate to a good taste in interior design. There is definitely varying degrees of overlap, but I think that every medium should be traded separately. I think the jumbling of tastes between mediums is a major reason as to why taste levels get messy for most people. If you really break it down, your sense of taste comes from exposure. You cannot have a good or bad taste in cars if you've never seen a car before. And as you start to see more cars, you begin to be attracted to certain models more than others. That's your taste forming. However, due to the fact that the earth and every man-made object that exists has only come to be because of humans that have existed before you do now, what you're exposed to is extremely linear. Sure, everybody born in the same country lives a different life, and those nuances make us who we are, but everyone encounters the same cars on the street, right? The same grocery stores, the same type of buildings. And humans are naturally social creatures who crave social acceptance to survive in their communities, unless they can convince themselves that there is more value in not conforming, which is a very hard thing for most people to do, because it brings about uncomfort. And it's hard to make yourself uncomfortable, even if the reward has a potential to be better than the current pain you have to feel. So that's why I think most people have the same level of, dare I say it, bad taste. Because everybody is exposed to the same things, which is then hard to break out of. And with social media and globalization, even more people are being exposed to the exact same things. However, you'll probably pick up a specified interest in one medium. And that's where true taste starts to form. You may never leave the mainstream bubble of that medium. Think people who obsessively collect every Nike Dunk colorway that comes out. But you might feel so inclined to leave that bubble and venture out and see what else is out there. And that happens if you're lucky enough to be exposed to something that's extraordinary to you and if you have an open mind. I think being open-minded is a key factor to good taste because in order to know what's good, you have to increase your exposure to new things in order to see as many things as possible and then compare everything to everything else. But you also need to sit with each thing for some time, which is something that you can easily skip doing once you're used to observing many things. Your brain will get so good at judging what's worth your time and what isn't that you will begin to take things at face value and start to judge things based off your first impressions. So that's also a dangerous mindset to attain and one that you must be aware of and fight to truly attain godly taste. <laughs> That's how you might get out of the mainstream bubble, but then get stuck in your ways. Again, it's uncomfortable and it can be boring, but there's no growth without discomfort. Otherwise, your brain has nothing to adapt to. You might have to try things more than once in order to properly experience it, because sometimes it just takes the right moment. For example, I found that after becoming fatigued listening to solely electronic music, I decided to put on a Japanese funk album that the YouTube algorithm just recommended to me one day. Now, the YouTube algorithm has great taste. From there, I was recommended a 70s Latin American folk album that I decided to play while I made breakfast after a euphoric run. I tried listening to this style of music before in my headphones. I just found it too slow. And I didn't have the patience for it. However, in that moment, when I was slow cooking my scrambled eggs, that Latin guitar came on in combination with a bit of flute playing through my speakers on the other side of the room. And ever since that day, I ascended. Latin American folk music is a staple of my mornings now. So after that, now we have to focus on mastery. Mastery in one medium is hard to achieve, let alone acquiring it in several in order to attain good taste 
across the board. But this is how I believe you do it. To be specific, in this video, when I refer to mastery of a medium, I mean mastery is a vast knowledge and understanding of a medium in a general sense, which is of course not true mastery. Nobody is a master of the medium of fashion, right? There are masters of tailoring, of fashion design, of fashion marketing, of fashion history. Fashion in itself is much too large to become a true master of all its individual elements. But for the sake of having a taste, I'm talking about acquiring a general mastery, which is much simpler. You need adequate volume, intensity, and consistency. I think a good thing to compare it with is building muscle. I don't think the overlap of the principles of building muscle and building good taste is a coincidence. I think it's just one of the laws of the universe, honestly. Like those three things will get you far in anything you want to do, really. So you have to consume a large volume of things, which I've talked about. Adequate intensity means you must spend an adequate amount of energy properly assessing and analyzing everything that you intake. And the consistency part is you have to do this for a long period of time. So do you see why most people don't have good taste? It's a lot of work. Rewarding as anything that requires a lot of work, but still a lot of work. But you might also just do this subconsciously anyway, if that's the type of person that you are. I kind of got bored with rap music, so I ended up moving to techno. I then opened up my mind to a wider range of electronic music, which somehow led me to classical music, on honesty. That then got me interested in music that wasn't made on a computer. And lo and behold, now I'm at Latin American folk. <laughs> this happened over a course of a few years. And if you are looking for a new genre to go into, folktronica, ooh, it's a mix of folk and electronic music. Here's some albums if you want to look into it. And to reiterate, I classify what I'm attaining as a general mastery over the medium of music, which is forming my taste. A true mastery would mean that I have picked up one of these genres and restricted myself to it. But I think life is more fun with a bit of balance and variety. So how does knowing who you are come into all of this? Well, because once you stop to follow these steps and really think about what you're consuming, you'll be faced with the horribly energy consuming idea of having to think. And if up to that point, you had spent your whole life just accepting everything that had been thrown at you at face value, then the notion of thinking about what you're consuming might be a little frightening. Boo. Luckily, the path to general mastery goes hand in hand with finding out about who you really are, given that you have the initial mental fortitude to go through with all that thinking. You're welcome, you're going to kill two birds with one stone. So combining these two aspects should provide you with a unique, objectively good level of taste. But remember, nobody really sees anything, especially art, as objective. So really, your level of taste will always be up to the eye of the beholder. And hopefully, the only eye whose opinion that you really care for is your own. I hope this method works out for you as I feel like it has for me. The best and worst thing about this is that there's no end. There's no definite time where you become a general master of something. And when do you ever really find out who you are? So have fun, go crazy, see how far you can go. Don't take this whole video super seriously. I just kind of had fun thinking about this and I hope you had fun watching. I just dropped my final piece on Demna that I hope to release for a while until something actually new and exciting happens in regards to him. The last video I made on him was about a year ago. So yeah, I wanted to finalize my thoughts so I wouldn't have to revisit them every now and then just to get stuff right. It's free to read on my website if you'd like to. Link in the description. Okay, bye. I gotta kiss my cactus goodbye.